Hey guys, and welcome to another pickups video, and these are amongst my favorite videos to get to do because it always means I get to share more additions to my collection uh, with everybody that's watching. Uh, this has been another uh, stretch of time where I haven't been able to really dabble in a lot of games, but I have movies, and uh, I want to show them off, and this is probably everything that I'm going to have at least through the end of the year, uh, maybe some some more fun stuff to show uh, in January, but we'll see. Anyway, uh, not to get too far ahead of myself, let's just go ahead and jump into this. This is all Blu-ray except for the first thing I'm going to show, which is a DVD, and this is Death Note, the complete series. Now, I'd like to say this is going to like kick off the beginning of an anime collection, but I already have some anime in my uh, amongst my movies and 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 whatnot. But this was something that we got at my Walmart, and it was $30, and I was like, it's, a, it's an anime I've always heard good things about, and I've always wanted to check it out. So I'm going to start with this, and then we'll see what else there is for Death Note to collect. And there's also some other complete series uh, box sets I've seen recently that I really want to get, but like I said, I'm going to have to wait a little bit for that. But Death Note, looking forward to, to checking that out. All right, now we'll get into the Blu-rays, and we'll start off with Guardians of the Galaxy, which I watched last week and did a video about, but it was really, really good. Uh, really enjoyed it. Well worth having in the collection. And we have Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Uh, I actually have both this one and Rise of the Planet of the Apes. I'm a big fan of the entire Planet of the Apes series, the original movies. It was even a TV show. Um, and uh, because of that, I wanted to check out these new ones. So I own both of them, but I haven't watched them yet. You know, that's just one of my little flaws when it comes to movie collecting. But I will be watching both of these very, very soon. Now here's a movie that I had to pick up uh, because I thought that I already owned it, but I couldn't find it after I picked up the sequel to it. And that movie is Taken. Uh, this is the uh, two-disc extended cut. If you notice the sticker on there, it's because I got this for like $4, I think it was, on Black Friday sales at my Walmart. But anyway, I picked up Taken 2 earlier this year, or late last year, whenever it was. I can't remember exactly when it was. I wanted to watch both movies one night, back-to-back, -back, and I was pretty sure that I had already picked up the Blu-ray of it. I could not locate it. So... For four dollars, I figured it was worth having, even if it were to uh, pop up somewhere in here. All right, next up we have Wrath of the Titans in a nice steelbook case. Um, I'm a fan of the original Clash of the Titans movie. I don't own it at the moment. Someday I might pick it up. But the remake that uh, this is basically a sequel to, I thought was really, really good. And then I saw this and I enjoyed it, but I, I think I rented this. Uh, when it came out, and I finally was able to pick this one up. I think this was like seven or eight dollars for a steelbook Blu-ray. I really like these steelbook cases. Uh, here's another uh, movie that I got on a good deal. Uh, it's The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Picked this one up, I believe, for ten dollars as part of the holiday sales. And uh, I saw this in the theater over the summer, uh, but I missed a f just a few minutes of it while I was using the restroom at the theater. Uh, I wanted to go back and watch the entire thing all the way through at some point, just to feel like I got the complete experience. Up next we have a movie that I watched, I believe it was last week, and did a video on, but it's Expendables 3. Really, really love this one. Love the series. Uh, absolutely love the entire trilogy so far, but I think this one was the best. Uh, if you want to hear more thoughts on that, just check out my video for uh, Expendables 3. And here's a really cool uh, little special. Uh, this is a exclusive to Walmart. But this is the Sin City 2-pack. This has the original Sin City movie and then A Dame to Kill For, which is the, the recent sequel. Uh, I was thinking that I had this, but I could not find Blu-ray of this. I'm pretty sure I still have my DVD. Um, and this was $25, which is usually what your price would be for a single movie. So I thought to get the uh, the first one on Blu-ray, possibly, you know, to actually get it for the first time for me on Blu-ray, I couldn't pass that up. So this will be one of these days I'll sit down and try to watch the two of them back to back and then make some videos for those. And then the last thing that I have to show off is something that I just actually picked up today. 
uh, eagerly awaiting this one because I knew this was probably going to be one of my last purchases before uh, the end of the year. But this is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is the new Michael Bay um, remake and uh, I did a video on this when my daughter and I went to see it in the theater over the summer but I ended up really really enjoying it. This is a in my opinion a worthy installment to uh, Ninja Turtle lore uh, and it's kind of cool my daughter is going to get these little ninja masks all four uh, Ninja Turtle uh, ninja masks are in here and uh, it looks like it's reversible so you flip them over to, to do the color. I didn't realize that it was that way but still one way or another I told her about this yesterday and she's looking forward to getting those masks and maybe her and I watching this again uh, in a couple days so anyway that wraps up my pickups uh, for right now like I said unfortunately no games I kinda point that out I, I really like having a good balance of games and movies um, but games you know being that most games are sixty bucks um, and movies a lot of these movies were twenty dollars or cheaper so that's where my like expendable cash has been going is towards movies and uh, that's probably where you're gonna see most of my pickup stuff here in the near future is movie stuff since you know it's just we're getting to the end of the the cool games that I wanna buy um, well anyway I won't waste any more time rambling about that we'll cover that in the future but uh, hopefully you like those pickups. Uh, I'm happy yet again to have another stack of movies to throw onto the shelves. I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I'll see you soon. I am I have some series that I've been wanting to kick out here really, really soon. I've just been kind of lazy about it. So hopefully you'll see that stuff sooner than later. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.